Before we're gonna start the video guys, I wanted to ask you for some help and support. You know, currently I'm doing my videos daily, every single day. I have to prepare for them, make them, so it takes a lot of time. So of course, every single subscription and every single notification matters. So that's why I'm asking you guys for the support. Thank you so much and now let's begin. What's up guys, Takeup Shiro and welcome back to another daily video and hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. And yesterday I have actually made a video on how you can transform your iOS 9 device into the iOS 11 and yeah, achieve the look of the iOS 11 stuff like that and you guys crushed it, seriously. I didn't expect that much of love and support you guys gave to the video and you know, it's kind of a mind blowing. I expect about 40 to 50 likes and you doubled it with 100. So today guys, I'm super excited to finally show you the second part of the same video on how you can do the iOS 9 to iOS 11 transformation and also today I'm adding the iOS 10 so this will be compatible with the iOS 10 in the first place and yeah guys without any further ado let's go ahead and get started and let's get to the tweaks and okay guys so first of all I just wanted to say that if you haven't seen the first part of this video make sure you watch it right now and then go back to this one the link will be down below in the description and also before we're gonna start make sure you add some of the repositories or sources in Syria and also I'm leaving the link in the description as well and okay guys so let's go ahead and start off from some older generation devices and then we're gonna move on to the iOS 10 and the iPhone 5s okay so from my last video I couldn't get it to work this functionality where it tries to press the home button and then this will bring you to the home screen and one of my generous subscribers <laughs> actually recommended me to use the activator application for this one and now as you can see when I press the home button this will take me to the passcode screen or the home screen so as you can see in the activator you need to go ahead and actually uh, set up this kind of process so go with the lock screen of course then you want to just select the, the single press and then click on build and this should pretty much do its job now you'll be able to actually unlock just like me and then of course on the passcode screen we also got a little bit of tweaks applied so as you can see we have a little tint uh, covering these little circles and yeah this is kind of like on the iOS 11 so to apply this kind of theme to your passcode screen you need to download the faces pro tweak which is available in city of course you're gonna go into the settings configuration click on these three dots and set up a background tint so set up just like me and you will have the same kind of result and before I'm gonna show you guys the next week I just wanted to say that please do not change your iOS versions on your jailbroken device because you may actually lose the jailbreak and you know if you have a ton of files if you still want to have the jailbreak just please don't do this on your device so yeah this should be pretty much it for the iPhone 5 now on the iPhone 4s I wanted to show you the new control center tweak for the iOS 10.2 and yeah I don't have the iOS 10.2 in here just because I have changed the iOS version in my set settings and so then I had to revent it back and I'm going to show you guys also how to do that and include the pass in the description so you want to download the files application or iFile so go into this path then of course change the version in here so let me just show you how it looks like of course go into system library and then core services uh, yeah in here then all the way to the bottom until you see the uh, OT no not this one so it should be the system version uh, then click in here and then product version so I have changed this one to 10.2 just to get its weak uh, on my device and then I have revented it back to 9.3.5 after I got it but anyways this is how it looks like and as you can see that's lacking a lot of features from the real control center but you know it's, it's pretty free and I'm pretty satisfied with this one but there's also in another tweak called the control center XI uh, which is paid unfortunately but you do get the full control center on your iOS device for the iPhone 5 or 4s on the iOS 9 Unfortunately, I didn't buy this. Of course, I don't. I don't really have a PayPal to to pay for it, so I couldn't test it for you guys, unfortunately. But I mean, these two tweaks actually do work, I think. And finally, the last 32-bit related tweak is the notifications 10. So this will actually simulate this iOS 11 and kind of the iOS 10 uh, banners, and you know, transform your iOS 9 banners into the iOS 10 banners. So as you can see, this is how it looks like in here. So they look pretty damn cool. Also on the lock screen, this is how they look like. So kind of like on the iOS 10 and iOS 11 so this is the only way to get them in 
here. And there's also another tweak, the alternative one uh, to the notification sign called the notifications X lights, which basically also transforms your iOS 9 banners into the iOS 10 banners. And you know, I couldn't get it to work on my device, so maybe this will work on yours. And finally, we got to the iOS 10. So all of these tweaks will only work for the iOS 10, but believe me, there is a ton of customization options in here. And all the key factors are included in here. So first of all, we got the dock. As you can see, this one comes from the iPad on the iOS 11 and it looks super stunning. I really wanted to have this one for a very, very long time and it's finally here. So this one is called the Dock XI. And next up, we have the control center. And now here, it pretty much looks identical to the real iOS 11 dock. And if you take a look and compare this one to the real one, as you can see, they are super identical. Yes. So, you know, the developer did a great job on this one. And as you can see, you can even do some kind of this touches in here and uh, kind of shortcuts. And as you can see, that works perfectly in here. You also got the music controls in here and they do work as well. And finally, guys, we have the last music widgets for the iOS 10 that brings the kind of look from the iOS 11. And as you can see, that looks pretty damn cool. Of course, you can minimize it to bring a more cleaner look to it. And of course, every single player is compatible with it. So this one is called the Lock Screen XI. So you guys, I think that should be pretty much it for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, make sure you smash the like button. So that would be so, so much appreciated, like always. And of course, if you have any tweaks to suggest, make sure you leave a comment down below. So I'll get the suggestion and put it in the description so our other tech lovers will know. And as always, guys, I hope to see you around on my next one. And peace out.